Hey guys, it's Jay. So I'm here to talk about this whole June K situation. So it was reported that he was charged with the DUI and the blood alcohol level was 0.074%. Um, I don't know how high that is on like how high it is or anything like that, but they did say that it is enough to get your license suspended and his promotions are now on hold and things like that um but he did write a statement he did write an apology and then jyp also um wrote an apology in the statement as well and my thing is it's like you just turned 30 right so you're not you're not 21 you're not 20 or i don't know how the drinking the drinking limit is in korea or whatever but you're an adult right and especially you should have thought about you should have thought you should have known better, especially after what happened with Nick Coon about six years ago when he got a DUI and things like that. And you know what I'm saying? It's like it was it was it's, it's disappointing because it's like in these situations, like half the time these people are adults, these people are grown ass people. And my thing is, is like I didn't notice, but JYP has a de designated driver of service. So and then they also educate y'all in JYP on drunk driving so there's no excuse there's no excuse like I know Uber ain't really a thing in Korea like they have it but it's not really all that accessible like I think they don't really have like regular Uber I think they only have like the Uber black thing or whatever in Korea um but they do have taxis and stuff but not only that but you have a manager right you could have called him up and was like, look, I'm about to go out with some friends. I'm most likely going to be drinking. Come get me. I'm going to be at this place. Come get me at such and such time or come with me and then just take me home. You know what I'm saying? Or whoever you was with that wasn't drinking. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not saying that everyone in Korea drinks because not everyone in Korea drinks. So somebody that you was with should have been also responsible and been like, all right, bro, you had too much to drink. We're going to get you home, whoop de whoop Again, there is no excuse. And, it, and even, idle or not, even if you're a regular person, there's no excuse to be drinking and driving. And just because you, just because June K is my buyer, does not mean he getting a pass. He's not getting a pass. Because just like how I let Onu have it, I let Kanga have it. He can get it too. As no one, like no one's getting a pass with this because this is how many times? Like when are y'all going to get a clue? Like y'all ain't broke, so y'all can afford to find y'all way home. And there has to be a friend that you know that can take you home. If and say if all your friends that you are with are drinking, there has to be someone you know that you could have called to come get you. Or, or something like that. Because I know at least in America, like, if you don't, if no one has a ride home, like, the bar or club, whatever, will call you a cab and take you home or whatever and things like that. I don't know if that's the same thing in Korea, but it's, like, the fact that Korea promotes a drinking culture, that's cool, but they should also promote the dangers of DUIs and driving while intoxicated and how serious this shit is because people have died from DUIs. People have died from DWIs. People have gotten into accidents and, you know, hurt themselves and hurt other people. Like there are other ways to avoid any problems. You know what I'm saying? Like there's, there's no, there's no excuse. There's absolutely no excuse. You know what I'm saying? Especially like y'all are grown as people. Like I said, you have managers, you have friends. There's other alternatives to get home than to just get in the car and drive yourself home knowing you had something to drink. You know what I'm saying? There's no excuse. Especially when JYP has a designated driver service. They've had it since 2014, so this is even more of a reason to to call someone to come get you so like i said i don't know if that's every company or if it's just jyp but i feel like 
all companies should have this just like they should have a in-house therapist and things like that. I mean, hell, even Fantasio has people that teach their artists about safe sex, you know, things like that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? The game has changed. Like, it's a whole new ball game. Like, a lot of things have changed and a lot of things need to be put into action these days. You know what I'm saying? Like, they really should. So, especially with people when it comes to, you know, the dangers of drinking and driving. Like, it may sound, you know, high school, but at the end of the day, it's helping, it's saving, you know, the person that's involved in other people. And that shows how, you know, if you know better, if you have alternatives to get home, if you've been drinking, it definitely saves a lot of time from having people to make statements and write apologies and having, you know, your name put out in articles and things like that. All that shit could be avoided if people would just take the initiative to find safe ways to get home. You know what I'm saying? It's and not, like I said, it's not even just idols. It's just regular people as well. And that's, and that's including people out here too. Like, I'm not even talking just in Korea. I'm talking about in general. I don't, I don't give a fuck where you are. Like, there's no excuse. Especially if you're out here in America. There's Ubers. There's Lyft. There's Zip cars. There's, there's so many alternatives to get home. You know what I'm saying? There's no excuse. There really, there really is no excuse. So now that his promotions are halted, I think either his album was supposed to come out or it just came out or something like that. And then, so he's not going to, most likely he's not going to be able to perform at the, um, whatchamacallit, the closing ceremonies with the other members because 2 p.m., all, all six members were supposed to perform at the closing ceremonies. So, so now he's probably not going to be doing that, but... It's like I said, it's just a lesson. It's like, yeah, I'm disappointed, but as you know, at the end of the day, it's like, it's just you have to take responsibility. You know what I'm saying? Not, I'm not saying that you can't go out and have your fun. I'm not saying that, but at the end of the day, you can still have fun, but still be responsible. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said before, like I used to go to clubs, but the thing was because I was really the only one that had a license, I was a designated driver. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, yeah, that's fun. That's cool. We go to the club. I mean, I didn't really used to like going to the club. But like, you know, whatever. I'm with my friends. I'm with my girls. We having fun. But at the end of the day, I'm the one that's responsible for everyone, even though we're all adults. Because I'm the one that has to make sure that they get in the house safe. Because I'm responsible for everybody. Because I'm the one that's driving. So, you know what I'm saying? I don't, like, you know what I'm saying? I would definitely feel like shit if I had too many drinks and I get behind a wheel and I hurt myself or I hurt my friends or I hurt someone else. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's like, it's just, there's a bigger picture to this. So it's like, you know, I'm glad that he didn't hurt himself. I'm glad he didn't hurt no one else. Thank the Lord. But still, you have to be responsible. There's no if, and, or buts about it. It's just that simple. But you know, like I said, I, I just, I just really want people, like I said, idols or not, there's definitely a lesson learned in this. It's like, just be responsible. It's just, that's, that's just it. But yeah, so, um, I'm going to get out of here and yeah, I'm going to talk to you guys later. Bye.